I'm uh, divorced. How many folks are divorced in here? Clap if you're divorced. Let me hear you. <laughs> nobody plans on divorce, man. Nobody plans on it. It just happens. Sneaks up on you. Catches you off guard. You know, you nobody, you think, when you never think the day you get married, you never think you're going to get divorced. Yeah. Never goes through your head. And no one ever looks at someone and says, will you marry me for just seven years? <laughs> you think it's forever, man. If, and when it falls apart, this is what happens at the very end of a marriage. This happens all the time. You start to fight, and you fight every night. You fight every night. Every night, there's a fight. At, at some point, it becomes the same fight. You are having the same fight every single night. When you could, it's like you're doing a play. <laughs> Your life becomes a series of really bad plays. You just don't know what play, because she's the director. So I'd walk in the door and she would be angry and I would be like, all right, what are we doing tonight? I have no idea. Okay, help me out a little bit. And she'll look at me and go, you were supposed to be home hours ago. And I'm like, oh, oh we're doing a scene from You're Never Home. All right, I got it. Just let me see if I can remember my lines. That's a very difficult play. And you've been working together so long and you know each other so well that if you forget a line, she'll feed it to you. She knows all the lies. She'll walk in the door and she'll be like, why do you work so much? And I'll go, I can't remember that one. Can you help me out? What's the, I don't know. And she'll look at me and go, I know money doesn't grow on trees. I'm like, fuck, that's it. Money doesn't grow on trees. She, you don't even need me here for this fight. I'm gonna go back to the bar. Cause your monologue is coming up, which is 25 minutes of you calling me a moron. So I'll, yeah, I'll be back in time for you to throw the toaster at me. And they say kids understand divorce, and that's not, that's not true. Kids don't understand divorce, especially if they're little. They don't think anything's wrong. You know, if, you're, if you fight every night, if your parents fight every night, you just think parents fight every night. In fact, if you have friends from a happy family come over, and they're confused by the chaos, you think they're messed up. Your, your parents will start fighting, and your friend will freak out and look at you and go, dude, why is your mom throwing vodka bottles at your dad's head right now? And you'll look at him unfazed like, uh, it's Easter, moron. <laughs> How does your family celebrate the resurrection, you pagan? <laughs> and a lot of kids want their parents to get, back, to get back together when they get divorced. That's a big deal. They're like, oh, I hope the parents hope to get back together. That'd be the best. Not my kids. Not my, they knew it was a train wreck. I used to threaten my kids with getting back together with my ex-wife. <laughs> Yeah, that was a form of punishment in my house. I was like, hey, you kids better clean this room or your mom and I are gonna give it another shot. We're sorry, Dad, don't do that, we're sorry. Hey, you wanna spend summers as a family, huh? You wanna spend summers as a family? You're this close to having one Christmas. <laughs> 